we're going to look at uh, outputting content to a page now and we're going to look at three main ways that we might be able to do this. Um, we're going to look at the most basic form of just outputting a string or, a, or a, uh, an integer, a float, a variable to a page. Um, but we're just going to look at outputting strings in this case. Um, and we're then going to include the ability to concatenate both using comma separated values for echo and also the dot notation to concatenate strings. And then finally, we'll look at the complex syntax, which basically allows you to output things like array values within a string inside of curly brackets. Um, so, you know, this sounds very difficult, but in practice, it's actually very easy, which method you use depends on, first of all, which uh, standards of code um, code standard you're following and also depends on how you're actually outputting and what you're actually outputting. If things start to get a little bit more complicated then you might choose a different method. As long as you're consistent in the way you're outputting um, generally then you're fine. But let's take a look at a very basic example of outputting. So let's just go ahead and just echo out a string. Now echo will basically just output whatever you specify after it to a page. Um, so in this case, if I use single quotes or I use double quotes, this uh, basically uh, is a notation for a string. So in this case, I'll just put output my name and uh, let's head over to our browser and just refresh this um, and see what we uh, see what we get out. So if we refresh the page now, you can see that we just see Alex here. And if we view the source of this page, we just see Alex on line one, and that is it. So the same thing works with um, single quotes, but obviously using single quotes and double quotes um, is, is, you know, it's not as easy as just saying, I want to include single quotes or I want to include double quotes. So for example, if I was using double quotes, uh, let's just two double quotes, and I was to say, um, I'm Alex. Now, this is perfectly valid because we have a double quote here, we have a double quote here, and a single quote just in here um, between these two uh, characters. So this works as expected. Now, what happens if I want to output something in single quotes, um, and I also want to use a single quote inside of this string. Now what's going to happen here is uh, we're going to basically this will error um, if we just go back to this page. So this will error. So we get a pass error, a syntax error, unexpected M T underscore string expecting a comma or a uh, semicolon. So what on earth does this mean? Well, what's happening here is it's seeing this part here as a string and it's expecting us to either end the line with a semicolon, which we do in PHP, or it's expecting us to concatenate this um, or, or, or provide an additional string to output with a comma. So this would work, but we're still faced with the problem that we don't have our uh, single quote between the I and the M. So how can we combat this if we want to use single quotes on the outside, but want to use a single quote on the inside? Well, we can use character escaping for this. So if we use a backslash uh, just before the character that we want to escape, this doesn't take into account um, the fact that we have uh, the single quotes on the outside, and therefore this isn't, um, isn't affecting the fact that we're using single quotes. So when we refresh now, we see this single quote. Now you'll probably think, oh, well, it's easier to just use double quotes. Um, and in, in actual fact it is, but then what happens if we want to use a double quote within um, this string? So for example, if I wanted to enclose Alex in double quotes, what's going to happen here? Well, we're going to receive a, a very similar error, unexpected Alex T string. And again, the same reason as before. So how do we combat this? Well, we can, of course, escape these characters as we saw with a single quote, and then this works as normal. So generally, if you're just working with strings like this, uh, escaping characters is perfectly acceptable. Uh, but remember that if you are doing it this way, then you need to keep to doing this. Um, there is a uh, 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 the here doc syntax, which we'll look at later. And basically that allows us to use single or double quotes uh, in conjunction with each other and not have to use escaping. 
So that's the basics of outputting within a string, either with single or double quotes, and we've also looked at escaping. Now let's take a look at actually concatenating or, or outputting multiple values within echo. Now, just as a side note, we can also use print, and you might see this uh, used uh, different places. There's no real difference between uh, doing this, but there are some subtle differences. We're not going to go into them too much, but we're just going to stick with echo. Um, it might be worthwhile looking in the PHP documentation about print and echo and, uh, and understanding the differences between them. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to remove what we've done so far but we're going to output I am. Now what happens if I want to perhaps include a variable and concatenate it onto this string? So let's just go ahead and create a variable. We'll explain variables again at another point, uh, but in this case, I'm just gonna set this variable to the string Alex. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to say I am space, and I want to concatenate on or uh, append if you like onto this echo uh, language construct. So there's two ways that we can do this. With echo, we can use comma separated values. So we could actually say Alex, and we've already seen this a moment ago when we looked at the single and double quote differences. But this would work as normal. You'll just see if we open up our browser, it says I am Alex. However, what we can also do is we can include things like variables here, uh, which will then take into account what value we have stored in the variable um, and will output whatever we have stored there. So we can change this around and refresh and we get, uh, we get the expected output. Now what we can also do is we can use the dot notation like this. And essentially what this is doing is it's concatenating the string. Whereas before we were effectively passing multiple values to echo. So this would be the first value, this would be the second value. We're passing them in and they're just being uh, concatenated if you like an output. But we can use concatenation like this um, where it makes sense. So again, there's no real difference between, well, there is, but there's no real difference in the uh, results that we get from this. Um, it would work perfectly uh, in this exactly the same way uh, if we were to use the single uh, or the, the, sorry, the comma or the dot notation. But um, really it's preference and how it looks and, and everything like that. Uh, generally, it's better to comma separate simply because when you're concatenating, uh, it's probably a little bit slower. It, it's entirely um, unnoticeable probably, but um, it also looks a little nicer if we comma separate. But again, it's personal preference and it depends on which coding standard you're following or which coding standard your team as a whole has decided to work with, or you in fact as an individual. So now that we've done that, we'll go ahead and we'll look at the curly uh, braces or the complex um, syntax. Now, this isn't actually complex, um, but basically what it pr uh, allows us to do is provide complex expressions and, in and include these inside of a string. So for example, I'm going to say I am Alex. This is what we've seen before. We're just using double quotes. However, what happens if I again have this name variable up here? And I want to go ahead and include this name variable within here without either comma separating or concatenating on with the dot notation. Well, in this case, what I can actually do is provide curly braces within here and then use um, a complex uh, inside of this. So this is just outputting a variable inside of here, but we can also work with arrays, objects, and anything like that within inside of this complex syntax. So in this case, it just says, I am Alex. And again, this looks an, a lot neater. Um, so for example, I'm going to say town equals London. And I'm going to say I am name and I live in town. So it looks a lot nicer than having to comma separate or concatenate strings on here. When I refresh, uh, this works as expected. So as we said, this also works with arrays. So what we can actually do is um, we can create a, a variable full of arrays. So for example, uh, age, and this isn't a useful use case, but if we had say 20, 25, 30 in here, what we can actually do is say something like I am 
and then in here we can set age and access say the first element of age so we can do things like this within these um, within these complex uh, this complex syntax so we won't worry too much about that for now but basically we've looked at the ways that we can actually output to a page in PHP and uh, how we do that basically using the echo uh, language construct.